YouTube, how are you now? Sean here from the EDC Den. That is my new channel here on YouTube. Uh, it's my first channel. Um, going to be focusing on everyday carry EDC uh, with, I guess, a, a special emphasis on pocket knives generally. But I do have all kinds of EDC items that I've been inspired by many YouTubers to acquire over the years. So just a little bit of background. I, I'm on break from my job right now um, during this COVID disaster. Um, so I do have, I, I still currently work a little bit, but I do have a, an abundance of extra time right now. Just thought it'd be a great opportunity to give back to the EDC community, uh, the knife community, the YouTube community. Something that I've, um, you know, been a viewer of and a participant of uh, to some degree, but I've never really put out my own content. I'm 40 years old and I've never had any kind of social media, never sent a tweet, no Instagram, no Facebook. So YouTube, this is going to be a new thing for me, um, making videos and sharing them with you, but something I'm looking forward to. Um, I do have a good bit of gear uh, backlogged to go through, and I think some of you guys will kind of see maybe where you've inspired me along the way and helped me kind of refine my purchases and curate my collection of knives and EDC gear. And on that note, just a quick shout out to all the original and current EDC and knife community and YouTubers. Just a huge thanks for helping me get my collection to where it is today. There's too many of you to name, but I, I think if you guys watch the channel, you'll, you'll see your inspirations kind of strewn throughout my collection so huge thanks to everybody who's helped me on this journey it's been a long time over i don't know 10 15 years maybe even before edc was being called edc so let's get into my current edc everyday carry and then i'll show you my more original everyday carry after that something that i maybe carried around 10 years ago compared to what i'm carrying now so let's get into that. Um, currently carrying this little leather pocket sleeve wallet. It's uh, something I made myself after my wallet was stolen in a robbery. Guys, I got robbed in a foreign country. That's going to be its own video. Uh, there's a little bit of knife banter in that story uh, of me getting robbed face to face with some, some muggers in a foreign country. <laughs> so... You know, all, all turned out well in my opinion, but uh, I'll, I'll do a separate kind of knife banter slash getting mugged video for you guys because it's, uh, it's a little interesting in my opinion. Anyway, there's my current wallet since mine got stolen. I came home and I made this to replace it. This is a watch, uh, just a G-Shock watch that I, I don't wear too often, but when I do need a, a watch, just a beater watch when I don't have my phone with me. If I'm in the bush or on the motorcycle or something, I might wear it. Just a, a rugged kind of can do anything watch. Can beat it up. It's got the light. Can't really see that, I don't think. Yeah, just, just gets the job done. Nothing too special for sure. This is a Zebra telescopic pen. Okay, so it extends into a almost full-size pen and then shrinks down into a very small pen that you can clip to your pocket. Nothing special there. This is uh, replacing a Fisher space pen that I had in matte black. That is lost. I will replace it. So this is just filling in that space temporarily. Flashlight is the Zebralight SC52W L2. Just a really bright light with some easy functions and the, the nice clicky button. It's a one AA battery, so it's nice to keep the, the batteries that are just easy to find. If you're in a jam, you can just take something, you know, a AA battery, you can find those anywhere and pop them in your flashlight and off you go. Yeah, there's just different settings that are useful and um, just a good size for what I use it for. Current knives these days are this Rough Rider 
It's a micarta sow belly stockman. So you've got three knives there, three blades. Green micarta handles, rough rider shield. Clip point blade with the half stop, a little bit dirty from tape. Sheep's foot blade with the straight edge Warncliffe style blade. And the spay blade, these all have half stops on them. Pretty nice knife. I like to just kind of carry something a little traditional looking. If you ever need to lend a knife to uh, somebody you work with or whoever you're around, friends or family, it's kind of nice to hand them something like this. Everybody knows how to use it. No real surprises, nothing scary about it. With that said, I do like to carry a, a small fixed blade generally as well. I might slip it in the pocket or in a bag or attach it to a carabiner by this little knot I have here with the paracord. So you put your carabiner in there and you can just hang it, hang it from your belt loops. You can let it dangle inside your pockets if you don't want it swaying around. This is a, a tops knife. And unfortunately, it's called the street scalpel, guys which I get, you know, this is a kind of tactical defense blade, but you know, no one's really using it for that. They're just, they're buying a small fixed blade knife to use as an everyday carry item, in my opinion, which is what I use it for. I've actually got on order a Topps mini Scandi knife. Um, so that hasn't arrived yet, but that's kind of going to replace slash, I guess, work in conjunction with this one. It's just, you know, going back to handing a knife to a friend or something, or hopefully, you know, you don't get stopped by the police, but if you do, if you're carrying around the street scalpel, eh, it's not, not a, a real good look. So it's too bad it's called that, but a really cool knife, despite the name. Nice thick blade steel, or sorry, blade stock. Black linen micarta handles. All the tops use 1095 steel, I believe. It's incredibly sharp. Let's see if you guys can hear this noise it's making. Just as I kind of rub it against my thumb, it makes that almost sounds like you're strumming a guitar. The, the edge is so thin and so fine, you can just tell it's sharp by the noise it makes. So really, really happy with this piece and um, just kind of wish it had a different name, but I'll get something with a more appropriate name for those times where you might, might not want to be caught with the street scalpel. <laughs> There's the other side, Tops USA. Really like these handles, jimping and the choil just locks in really good. So you can do your street scalpeling. No, of course not. Just just a just a handy work knife, of course. And again, just kind of a, a good option if you don't like the options that the Kydex sheaths, sheaths come with. You can throw on a little knot. And grab your nice titanium beaner. That's kind of the setup hanging from the belt loop with the knot just resting in that little groove kind of works.
So again, there's there's the keychain I use. Just uh, I think it's by a company called Hand Gray, and that says I don't know if you can see that or not. K80. That's the model of the carabiner. Mass design titanium on the inside. I don't think the camera will pick that up, but who knows? But I think if you were to Google hand gray titanium carabiner, you'd start to see these. They're really nice. It's all one piece of milled titanium with the spring kind of just working with its own, own titanium there. So just a, a car key, of course, and a motorcycle key. This is where things get a little bit interesting. Um, this is a little leather sheath that I made. I put a stone in there and um, carry a couple stones as well in my pocket, <laughs> as well as this, this crystal skull necklace. And this kind of all works together with me when I'm riding my motorcycle. This is gonna sound really crazy to you guys probably, but it's just really a superstition thing. You know, these are kind of protective stones and crystals. And uh, you know, I've got them attached to the motorcycle key in my pocket and around my neck. And that's just a, you know, just a little superstition I have and a little bit of extra protection. Of course, not that a little stone in your pocket's gonna protect you from getting hit by a Mack truck on your motorcycle. Obviously not, but I just like to carry them and the little superstition is maybe that little extra boost of confidence I need to get out on the bike because it can be scary. This one's translucent. Yeah, it can be scary out there. You guys have seen how people drive their cars. So when we're on our motorcycles, it's um, a little, little scary at times, but incredibly fun for the motorcycle enthusiasts out there riding a... Uh, 2012 BMW G650 GS. Holy crap, BMW, could you throw some more letters and numbers in there to confuse us, please? This is uh, just a little pocket hanky, not really for nose blowing. I mean, we're always pretty close to tissue and toilet paper, so this is more for just cleaning off uh, the visor on the motorcycle helmet or maybe drying a seat or you know, something like that. So that's kind of an example of what I'm carrying currently these days. Um, the knives both switch up fairly often. And if you guys continue to watch the channel, you'll, you'll see my collection in full and just see the whole rotation. So I'll clear this stuff off and then we'll take a look at my EDC from, oh, kind of when I was getting into this 10 or 15 years ago. So set this stuff aside. So I've had this keychain a long time. It's a, a some sort of fish hook design. It's brass. I just really like the sleek, slim profile of it and the function of just you know a belt loop or hang it from your pants or your belt. It just works really well. I still use it for my other vehicle, my wife's vehicle. And yeah, some house keys. This would have been my wallet. It's not too dissimilar, I guess, to the one I'm currently using. It does have this magnet closure clip for the bills. Pretty basic stuff, just credit cards on the front. Had this uh, Leatherman Monarch 300. Yeah, just a light, just a standard clicky light, clicky back button. One AAA battery, so again, nice and easy to find if you're in a jam looking for a battery. Knives, I was, you know, again, small fixed blade would be something I would carry. This is a small Boker Plus in collaboration with Crime Knives. You can see that. I think it's a G10 handle with white linen backspacers. Four forty C steel. 
comes with a kydex sheath. So something like that, maybe with uh, a Victorinox Pioneer with a great tool set, blade, all cap lifter and screwdriver, can opener, small screwdriver. I also had this for quite some time that I would carry. I made the leather sheath for it. It just pops out with a blade there. When the sheath is covering the blade, you can grip it like so. Pry bar and screwdrivers, bottle opener, 440C steel made by Boker. Nice stonewash finish, just a nice piece of a metal for the pocket with a couple of useful tools on it. Easy to hang from the, uh, the keychain with this little titanium key ring. Yeah, and if I wasn't carrying one of these two knives, it's probably Kershaw Leak. This French Forge de la Yale knife. Again, just a cool traditional knife that you can let a friend use and they know exactly how to use it. No, no locking systems to mess with. This is when I started getting into the Spider Co's. This is the Dragonfly with the G10 and the steel liners, VG10 steel. The awesome Spider Co wire pocket clip, which I really like. Lock back. And a little bigger, but same kind of deal. Spider Co lock back, wire clip, carbon fiber handles. This is the Cali 3, Calypso 3. It's kind of like just a fancy Delica, really. I like it a lot, though, it carries really nicely. So these two knives kind of got me into the Spider Co game. And that was a long game, let me tell you. You'll see lots of Spider Co's in the collection. So that's kind of, uh, you know, what you'll see possibly on the channel is just more gear like this. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the direction the channel takes. Uh, you will see a lot of knives, knives from um, Tops and Case, Rough Rider, Marbles, Spider Co. A little bit of Benchmade, um, some European knives. Good selection, a uh, good, good backlog of things to go through that I've been collecting and curating over the years. So it'll be fun to kind of share that stuff with you guys and hope to hear from lots of you in the comments and just maybe you can comment on, on other gear that you've had that was similar in the past or maybe you still carry it now. Just uh, looking forward to sharing my collection with you guys. And again, really appreciate it. Uh, really appreciate all you original YouTubers that helped, helped get my collection started. All right, so stay tuned to the channel. Again, it's Sean here from the EDC Den. That's what I'm going to be naming the channel. And I've got a couple videos made already. So I'll post this one first because it's the intro. And then you'll see um, other videos popping up after that. All right, guys, so we'll see you soon. Take care.